Hi, I'm Anton Cruz. I'm Caitlin Elrod. I'm Lorena Gutierrez. I'm Peyton Lee Hines. I'm Samantha Maderas. I'm Justin Mickle. I'm Logan Reed. I'm Logan Robinson. I'm Joseph Sherman. I'm Jillian Stearns. I'm Elvin Chi. I'm Christopher Wiest. I'm Melissa Wilson. And we want to make our world a better place. Our teacher, Mr. Bentley, shared with us a problem in our community. Batteries are not being disposed of properly. According to the Household Universal Waste Generation in California report, published by California's Department of Resources, Recycling, and Recovery, in 2001, at least 500,000 batteries were sold in California. 99.45% of those were not recycled. In 2001, the Department of Toxic Substances Control adopted new regulations prohibiting the disposal of universal waste. Exemption however, were made for households. This exemption ended February 9, 2006. Today, all universal waste is banned from being thrown in the trash. We realize with this law, not all batteries are being disposed of properly. For example, our integrative waste manager informed us only 5% of old cell phones are recycled. They have batteries, materials that can be recycled, and other toxic substances that cannot be thrown away. For a law to be effective, it must not only be followed, but enforced as well. People need to be able to comply with it. Laws are nothing more than a set of words. It takes people to make a law work, and it also takes awareness. We decided to make improper battery disposal our problem for Project Citizen by trying to persuade our integrated waste manager, Cedar Kehoe, to place a battery collection station at our school. Four years ago, Mr. Bentley's class tried to persuade Cedar Kehoe to place battery collection set stations at all 39 elementary, nine middle, and nine high schools in the Elk Grove Unified School District. At that time, she was unable to do so because she didn't have enough funds. Aware of this funding, we decided we would now ask her if we would place just one battery collection site at our school. While researching battery disposal, we found out that our city has an integrated waste division. According to the cities of Elk Grove's website, their mission is to provide Elk Grove residents with cost-effective, environmentally sound, high-quality, efficient services covering the full range of solid waste management through collection, recycling, and education. We decided to email Cedar Kehoe, our city integrated waste manager, to discuss getting a battery recycling container at our school. Cedar Kehoe came to our school on May 30th, 2012. She explained there are policies about what we can and cannot throw away. We came up with a new law called Universal Waste and we stopped accepting all of your electronic devices like this camera, all of your e-waste, which is your computers, your television sets, laptop, batteries, phones, fluorescent lights, thermostats, anything with a thermostat. All of these things got banned, but it was a ban without a plan. What that means is they just said you can't throw them away. They didn't tell anybody what to do with them. Hey, you guys are basically sp spending over $10,000 on batteries. Oh, wait a minute. And, that. that's, that's, and that's then minimal. that what you guys calculated is just to recycle them. That's not the labor that it takes to go pick them up, to sort them, to take them over there, and then on top of that to pay for shipping, I believe, on some of the batteries. My yearly so budget that's only $40,000 on batteries alone. It, it's Aware of lack of funding, we decided to change the question Mr. Bentley's class asked four years ago. This time we asked Cedar if we can have at least one battery collection point at our school. Asking for one more battery collection point doesn't seem nearly as big as asking for 57 new battery collection points, right? We have not allowed any of the schools to be collection sites for a couple of reasons. The most important reason is one of safety. And that is, um, when these batteries come in, there there is an element of, of a, a number of them, and sometimes they're corroded, sometimes they can be open, and we don't want kids managing that. So it was a very conscious decision to not put battery sites at schools. Um, just because I felt that there might be an element of risk to that. It was yeah. funny when Cedar described her society's wasteful nature. Yeah, she definitely knows how to talk to kids. In today's world, we have manufacturers. What's who the retailer deal? 
What do you guys all do? Buy it. Buy it. Yeah, that's a good thing. We are consumers. We love to buy our no, crap. I'm no different. We all have too much stuff. Dealing with all this waste costs lots of money. Our city's budget for complying with U.S. regulations is $300,000 annually. But there's a problem with this. Every single one of the cities in the state of California and nationally have the exact same problem. So my request to get funding, I submit that to the state along with every other city and county submitting requests for funding from the state. There isn't nearly enough money to begin to cover the disposal costs. Cedar offered a solution to her budget problem and our use and toss mentality. Extended producer responsibility. This is a simple concept. This is the solution, is to get that battery back over here where they take the battery apart, they pull out the elements, they re-energize the battery, and they send it back out. Ultimately, we weren't able to persuade Cedar to place a battery collection station at our school. She cited several reasons for this. Safety. Kids handling old and possibly decaying batteries is not appropriate. Storage. Batteries randomly tossed into a container could be hazardous if they completed a circuit. Heated up, it spontaneously combusted. Cedar told us that the 19 battery collection points in our city are already hard enough to maintain due to her meager budget of $40,000. She predicted that all battery collection centers will be shut down because of our city's new special waste collection center. However, we were given a unique opportunity. Cedar asked us if we were willing to produce an instructional video showing the citizens of Elk Grove how to properly package and transport household hazardous waste to our city's special waste collection center, which will accept all of these things. what we originally set out to do, but we feel we have accomplished something even bigger. Rather than it trying to have 925 students in our school bring their old batteries here, we are informing all 153,015 residents in our community on how to properly dispose of all of their household hazardous waste. We may just be kids, but we are doing something that too many adults don't do. Reaching out to the community and trying to make the world better for the future.